Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another family grocery haul um, meal plan. So if you want to see what I've bought and what we're eating for the week ahead, then keep watching. I am just going to have to pray that we get through this without any interruptions. Um, I'm actually filming this bit a bit later on, but my children are obviously off on half term. And today they're going through a phase where they're all best friends, which is fantastic. But we all know that the downside to that is that they get very hyper together. Plus the weather today, there's some shouting. We have had rain, hail, snow, sun, clouds and screaming and um it's just like every time i thought oh should we get out it just chucks it down or a hail like thunder hail storm thing and we're all kind of just a bit stuck inside we had a really busy day yesterday we went out and stuff but today not so great um anyway you're not here for that i'm clearly just venting too much time with children i fear um but this is as per the cma guidelines um I can't even remember what I need to say. As per the CMA guidelines, I haven't quite to tell you that I have worked with Tesco in the past. However, this isn't an ad and it's been bought with my own money. And what I'm going to do, if you need to these videos, I'm going to run through everything that we've bought. Um, and then at the end of the video, I will run through our meal plan. So let's go. Okay, before we begin, I have my oven on cleaning mode thing. The dishwasher is also on a clean cycle and it's hailstoning outside. So sorry about the background noise. It's also half term and um, I obviously have all three kids with me. They're occupied at the moment because I've tried to set them up. Um, Daisy and Stan are playing Jurassic World Lego game and Bill is on the switch at the moment just while I get this done. Um, so hopefully I can do it without any interruptions for you. Um, okay, so fruit and veg first. We've got some butterhead salad, close cut mushrooms, pak choy, spring onions, cucumber, asparagus, tender stem broccoli, onions, and then herb wise we've got mint and parsley this week, and then three packs of the baby cucumbers. I'm trying to obviously get all of this in ready for them going back to school on Monday, and it's Thursday today. Got some raspberries, strawberries, two packs of blueberries, a melon, pineapple these are always on offer at the moment and i love it because what i normally do is that i put everything away and then i prep these and put them into storage tubs so we can just pick at them as and when we want them um and they're really quite affordable as fruits go because they're quite large um, and they last well too um bananas i don't know if i said that i said blueberries have nice spinach baby plum tomatoes tomatoes on the vine and garlic and then this is all the store cupboard stuff um mainly because i'm trying like a different thing with the kids this week and um, but other bits will just run out and we need them um but most of it is for recipes so i've got some pickled red cabbage this is really yummy got some chili crisp the lee kum ki one i did order um their soy sauce as well but it's out of stock so i've got the kick on one instead and it's the less salt version got some chives because we're running out of those plus plus because we've not got any of that in and we're using that for a meal um, chicken ramen and the kimchi ramen. This is my personal favourite one at the moment. This one's for the kids. More on that with the meal plan. I got some uh, reduced salt and sugar ketchup, a big one from Tesco. Well affordable this. It was like one pound something, which is great. Tomato passata, sweet corn. I got an emergency pizza, just the margarita one because the Pizza Express ones were on offer and a lot cheaper than normal. Uh, tuna and sweet corn, sandwich filler. Maybe I should have put it with the kids' stuff over there, but obviously that's like packed lunches or lunches now because they're still off. We've got some cheese. The Pilgrim's Choice was all on offer, so I went for that this week. Cream filled, grana potato cheese. All the yo stuff was still on offer. Obviously, I worked with them recently, but I'm a bit of a fan girl. I'm not gonna lie. These are actually for me and Mark. Um, when you know when we have those days where there's like a manic club type thing, I always end up cooking afterwards. It's normally on a Thursday, um, and I thought I would buy these um, and have them instead because they're like really yummy, um, and they're like sort of copies of what you can actually get at you if you know what I mean um, and you can freeze them as well which is what I'm going to do because the date lifes um, won't last until I want to use them but uh, they were on offer so I bought them now so that is for another day uh, next week so that's chicken katsu and Korean style barbecue pork these are by far the best thing that yo 
do is they're Korean style fried chicken um, and it's all marinated and then it's got like I don't know if you can see there in the background there's like a little sauce packet but you cook it in the oven and then mix it with the sauce and it's so good they're so good and then uh, this is for my lunch today I got a vegan sushi selection because I really like them you want to help yeah. okay do you want to go and get your stool he's just come in and gone can I help you like doing this don't you come on then you're so cute Stan picked these yesterday from Primark didn't you you need some new clothes so we've got you a few bits um what are they you didn't know that, Olives. We've got some steak. It's not very often that we will buy steak for our family because it would be a very, very expensive meal considering that like most adults have like a steak per person. Oh, great, now my washing machine's going. Sorry about that. But these were on offer, and I'm actually going to do a recipe that will stretch them between the five of us, um, which I'll explain during the meal plan. Um, but I got them because they were a decent price for like the finest stuff um, and thought we'd give it a go. With some meatballs, chicken, what's this? Ham. Ham. And we've got some eggs. And what are these? Crumple -lums. Crumple lumps. That's what you call them in this house. We've got some bread, haven't we? Brioche, pancakes, sub rolls, and pita. That is all of that this week. Should we go over there? You're going to get your stool. Good job. So this area is really, really ridiculous, but they have eaten me out of house and home. Just look, look in my fridge. There's just, it's basically condiments, some leftover strawberries that a certain somebody didn't eat this morning. So I've left them there in case he wants a snack. More condiments, two pieces of garlic bread and a few vegetables. And then there's just hardly anything there. Like we have nothing in and it's just been a constant chorus of, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, can I have a snack? What are we having for breakfast? What are we having for lunch? What are we having for dinner? Cause you've just eaten so much. But that is half term for you. So over here is the frozen stuff. Cannot recommend these enough. The co-fresh crushed garlic cubes. I think they're on offer at the moment for like 75p and they're frozen. You just grab what you need when you need them. Good Life Falafel, they've changed the packaging, but I buy this a lot. That's for a meal this week. Frozen garlic bread slices and onion rings. And then this is all like back to school or just stuff for the kids because we've hardly got anything in. So we've got some snackers because I asked Bill what he'd like for packed lunches and he said like homemade lunch balls. So I've got those. Tap with cheese that I'll cut up. Arrow mousses, they run off first. So there'll be like a pud this week with some fruit. Pepperamis, fruit winders chocolate and milk crispy bars club bars the mint ones what are these you love these don't you are you taking your jumper off okay you're a bit hot there we go would you want to show off your t-shirt that's funky what are these you can tell me we're being shy today okay you just want to be here so this is barney bears we got some penguins um pepperoni chicken bites bill's just as I've mentioned before, loves cured meats, but loves pepperoni in general. And he's had these before, but he asked me if I could get them again. And luckily they were actually on offer, so I did. Um, I got these 100% char grilled chicken fillet. They're ready to eat and they're like, you can put them in lunches, but I thought they might be quite good for me and Mark for like sandwiches and stuff like that. Um, we've got some fruits. Curiously cinnamon churros were on offer, so I picked those up for cereal. Um, Laughing Cow Dip and Crunch, because they're a bit cheaper than um, the Dairy Lee ones. Um, I did order, order some Go Go Squeeze fruit pouches, but they were out of stock, and one of them got substituted with the yogurt, so which is fine. And then we got some squashings as well. And then I got some uh, fruit corners, because they were requested by Daisy as like a dessert after dinner and that kind of thing. And then finally, let's go over here, Stan. You're very quiet today. You just want to be with me. What's this? You're not going to tell me? No, he just wants to cuddle. So we've got 7-Up, Coke Zero, Toilet Roll, Apple and Mango, Orange and Mango, um, After Eat Mini Eggs. These are kind of random snacks for me. Co-Fresh London Mix. I love this. It is so nice. I love the Co-Fresh brand. I really do rate it, hence why I brought these as well. I used to have these when I was a kid. They're Sesame Bites and... They're just really yummy, so that's like my little snack. 
I've got some lightly salted rice crackers. Um, we did also some hummus, um, but that didn't come, so I'll have to pick that up elsewhere. But I thought these would be good, like, on the side of lunches next week. Some snacker jacks and this so this i was really happy about because it's the salter brand and it's a new spatula because my spatula snapped in half um, and it was three pound fifty and it's so well made i was honestly so happy and i feel like the design matches my kitchen and the stand likes it too don't you so that is everything i'm going to put it away now i'm going to carry on cleaning and then i'm going to film the intro and outro later because i'm in cleaning gear at the moment um, and i need to freshen up before i do that so we're going to have a cuddle now aren't we Whee! So let's get on with the meal plan. Hopefully we can get through this before their dinner is ready. So it runs from Friday to Thursday. We get our shop on a Thursday. We always use up like the dregs of stuff on a Thursday night and then we tap into all the new stuff from Friday onwards. So Friday, the kids have requested fish fingers, chips and beans because it's um, a club night and we go and visit my grandparents. I'm gonna feed them early and that's what they want. So that's what they're gonna get. And we have leftover frozen beef rendang from last week. So we're gonna have that with some more jasmine rice and that'd be quite nice. I'll just take it out in the morning and stick it in the oven maybe to reheat or I could easily put it in a pan and just reduce it a little bit because I always find that they get a little bit more watery once they've been frozen. Might just be me though. Uh, Saturday, because it's half term and Mark's obviously he was off on Wednesday, which was yesterday, but he's not really had as much time with them as see, I have. We thought on Saturday we would just go to like somewhere like Weatherspoons for dinner, which is really cheap and cheerful, but the one near to us is actually really nice. And it's quite nice because the kids can always find something, it's never too expensive and we might have a drink or two while we're out in all honesty, just to do something a bit more fun on a Saturday because I feel like now we can it's really nice to be able to do that um so that's what we're going to do on saturday sunday i am going to make philly cheese steaks with onion rings and probably some fries and salad um so if you've never had them before they're more of like obviously as the name suggests like an american thing um but um, I've got two sirloin steaks which I'm going to put in the freezer for a little bit before I actually cook on Sunday um, to help me like basically they harden up a little bit in the freezer it's a lot easier than to slice the meat really thinly which is what I want to do I'm going to freeze them for a little bit slice it really thinly and then cook it up we've got some we can't really easily access provolone cheese here in the UK but um, I've got some like Emmental which is like a similar sort of thing um, and then onions, in some places they add mushrooms and peppers too, but I think we're just gonna do onions. And then we've got sub rolls. Um, I ordered two packs of those, but only got one. So I need to pick up another pack of sub rolls as well. We use the leftover ones for sandwiches. And then um, the rest will be relatively straightforward. I just wanted to do something that's about, that like felt a bit special on Sunday, but wasn't like loads of effort because I'm not gonna lie, like I'm knackered after this week, like just keeping them all happy and stuff. And today's Thursday, obviously, and I've done loads of cleaning today instead of tomorrow, which is when I normally do, just because we had a really busy day yesterday and they were all quite happy to just like stay inside today and chill and play games with each other and stuff. So I took my chance, but I am so tired. And considering I've not left the house yet, I've already done 9,050 steps today just in my house so that's how how busy I've been. On Monday we're going to do make your own ramen noodles so those packet ramens that I bought the chicken ones are for the kids we're going to have the kimchi ones because they're a bit spicier and I've got corn I've got chicken I've got spring onions I've got spinach I've got chili crisp I've got soy sauce I've got sesame oil I'm gonna do some eggs as well and we've got sesame seeds and all that good stuff and I'm gonna put it all in the middle of the table oh and mushrooms and we can all build our own which I think will be quite fun and a really nice way to introduce the kids into like trying that sort of thing on Tuesday we are gonna have falafel pitters so I bought those frozen falafel like I always get those they're really nice and it's nice that they're frozen because you can just grab them as and when you want them for a lunch um, so I need to get some hummus as I mentioned earlier on in the video because that didn't come um, but I'm gonna make some couscous on the side I've got herbs like uh, parsley and mint 
Um, we have some peppers in that I want to use up, which were from last week. So I'm going to use those as well, roast them in the oven with some onion, maybe some tomatoes as well. I made like a roasted veg couscous. I should have got some courgette really, because that's really nice in that. And then, yeah, that's what we're going to have, loads of salad and veg and good stuff. Um, and then Wednesday, I'm just going to do good old fashioned spaghetti and meatballs, which is really easy and simple. And then Thursday, the kids are going to have frozen paella. Um, it's a bag from Aldi that I've had in the freezer forever. So they're going to have that because I think they'll really enjoy that with like a wedge of lemon. And um, if we've got some leftover pita or something, I could cut that up into chunks and put it on the side. Um, and then I could make some aioli as well, like with garlic and um, mayo and stuff. Anyway, Matt's just my brain running away with itself. We are going to have those yo meals that I picked up just because I really want to try them and um, it'll just be easier because I wish that I had something like that for tonight but I uh, I don't um so anyway that is it I hope you found that useful and I am gonna go and check if their dinner's ready and crack on and do all that mummy stuff because I've still got swimming lessons in a bit and yeah I'll see you soon have a lovely rest of your day and yeah